Mining is an industry that provides a promising outcome to those who partake and invest in it. But is it totally safe? At what cost? The Philippines is a country that is abundant in natural resources, from the lush marine life to the rich soil where our crops are grown, where gold, copper, silver, and other mineral resources are found. These abundant natural resources could be one of our catalysts to help our nation grow, or it could be our nightmare if handled responsibly. The mining industry involves the extraction of valuable minerals and other materials from the earth that serves as an economic benefit to the nation. The industry plays a great role in developing a country, is important to technological progress, and provides great employment opportunities. However, the numerous debates concerning the actions of the industry have drawn flack with regards to child labor, land, environmental degradation, and less corporate accountability regarding the provision of proper mining equipment. Furthermore, the amount of money that industry deposited to the country is significant, that their operations benefit that the corporation itself and the politicians who sought to protect them. In this case, we can infer that the money the industry produces is used in unscrupulous ways that fuels corruption and in return perpetrates irresponsible mining. A study by Human Rights Watch states that out of 200,000 to 300,000 miners who are continuously risking their lives, 18,000 of them are minors. Systematic poverty allows for children to forgo education and instead focus more on working, thus inducing the cycle of child labor. A lot of these children venture into the mines haphazardly without decent and proper mining equipments, all to help their families. In the Philippines, the results of irresponsible mining are evident. Such is the case of the Nabok River in Compostela Valley, whose waters were once clear as crystal, now turned into a murky swamp due to such abusive practices in mining. And it is not just the environment that is mainly affected by irresponsible mining, but the workers as well. They are at a greater risk of catching diseases due to inhalation of dust particles and contact with toxic material. Small-scale mining, miners risk their lives diving into dangerous mines without proper protective equipment. They stay underwater for many hours with the possibility of rocks collapsing into them or drowning themselves while working. All these risky activities results in death. Time is ticking, there's not much time left. With the knowledge that we have, we can use it as a powerful weapon to share, educate, and make great changes to our life. As a student taking up the metallurgical engineering course, the material science and technology serves one purpose, having the capacity to contribute to nation building. As an inspiring metallurgical engineer, I entail a greater responsibility in ensuring that we are aware of the history and laws pertaining to responsible mining. It is integral for us to know that education allows for a more comprehensive approach to the challenging issues in the mining industry. Metallurgical engineering is not limited only to plants and factories. It is intersectional. We can be part of various executive departments in the Philippines, notably the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. As students, the advocacy that we're making right now is a notable step to urge these departments to regularly investigate various mining companies if they still follow international and domestic regulations. In that way, irresponsible mining cannot foster. As aspiring metallurgical engineers, we are continuously researching and developing processes that can be an alternative for safer and more effective processes in the mining industry, especially for small-scale miners. We may be just students, but our capacity to note what is being perpetrated by individuals who practice irresponsible mining is morally repugnant. The advocacy we want to forward is an incremental steps towards environmental preservation, protection, and social responsibility. Our college courses, age, and gender will not matter because when nature strikes back, 
we will all be affected. Therefore, it must be an unwritten rule. The best way to combat the effects of irresponsible mining is to be aware that there are entities utilizing and causing it, and be an individual who has the capacity to call these things 